If only I were a sad little half rank girl with no prospects like you. Damn, bitch! <laughs> Good morning, gamers. Um, I'm Ollie, and I'm back today with a video game. Um, the first game of the channel, I believe. Um, I'm going to be playing Elsinore today. Uh, I don't really know much about this game, but as a Shakespeare enthusiast myself, I, I can't resist. I've had it for a while now, but I've just not had enough time to play it. But I am stuck at home for Thanksgiving this year, um, doing absolutely nothing. Anyways, on to the video! <laughs> right. I have spent so much time trying to figure out how to get this um, desktop audio to work, but I think I've finally gotten it, so here we go. I'm guessing is Ophelia, just chilling right here. Um, yeah, I played Ophelia a little bit ago, so we'll see how this goes. Ophelia, there you are, love. Polonius. Polonius. And as usual, doesn't even give me so much as a hello, father. Oh, she's pretty. Oh, hello, father. That's better. And what are you doing all the way out here? I wanted to be alone a while. It's quiet here. Oh, she's really pretty. <laughs> I see. I see. Avoiding me, more like. Well, I have a favor to ask of you. Journal away. The graphics are interesting. I like the art. Uh, your brother's in the throne room visiting the king about his voyage. But his majesty tends to run over long. Won't you fetch Laertes for me? Tell him tell him he's tardy. As usual, his trunks are sitting in his chambers, open and empty. At this rate, he'll go to Paris with nothing but his clothes on his back. Oh. Oh. That would come as no surprise to either of us. <laughs> of course not. Much as I try, I cannot help to but think of how terribly I'll miss him. With all that's going on here in Denmark, war brewing, and such, and such. I think my hair has got even gotten a little whiter, even as we stand here. The nerves are taking quite a toll on me. Oh, I'm just sure they are, Polonius. Father, father. father, go and have a stroll. Breathe off, oh, Laertes. Oh, look at her. She. Oh, she's so pretty. I love her. I love her already. No, no, thanks. This is why you're my favorite daughter. I am your only- yeah, okay, I am your only daughter. <laughs> Just love this guy. And that as well. <laughs> oh, he's fast. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Ophelia acquires information, father's request, things about find Laertes. Okay, so I have a journal. Um. Okay. Oh, oh, here it is. Okay. Uh. Okay, find Laertes. Father is wor my father is worried about Laertes' upcoming trip and wants to talk about my brother before he goes. And of course, it falls on me to get him. Where on earth could he be? It's almost like we were told he was going to be in the throne room. But, uh, okay, um, characters. Uh, that's me. As a child of the Duke, I have a small amount of standing. But as a daughter, I can inherit nothing. I live here at the castle all my life. Sometimes I think about leaving. But where would I go? And what kind of life would I have? Everything I know about the world lies within Elsinore's walls. Uh, Polonius. Chamberlain. I didn't know he was a Chamberlain. That's new. Duke of Denmark, my father. Polonius is my father, and that's the king's advisor. He can be a bit addled-brained at times, he, and he loves to talk a lot. <laughs> but he really just likes being around people, I think. He always means well. He, and he's a uh, and he's been an attentive father to me, to my brother Laertes and me. Sometimes a little too attentive. It can be stifling. Hearsay. Oh. Oh. Okay. That's interesting. I kind of like that. <laughs> okay. Cool. Um. Do we have a map? Cute. Oh, I can see where everybody is. Nice. Okay. So Marcellus and Horatio with me. Oh, I want to go see Horatio. <laughs> Laertes is trapped in a meeting, but my father wants to speak with him. Horatio. Er, sorry, Laertes. Is, yeah, I think I said that right. Uh, ah. The good and fair Lady Ophelia, shall I compare the- Oh god, what la- Horatio, you are my favorite! Hmm. Enough with the poetry, Horatio, you flatterer. I, 
was a poet in another life, you know. That was before I was a foot soldier, then foot soldier, then a student. And now I'm what? A professional friend. <laughs> That's not a bad life. You've been many things at many times. Okay. My apologies for the wallowing. You asked what about your brother. Court's being held at the Great Hall, I believe. Oh, I suppose you're right. Head there, and I'm certain you'll be able to tear him away. Hmm. You know, back in Florence, there is no sense of lateness. Men arrive precisely when they mean to, and meals are six hours long. I'd be much slower and larger if that were the case here. <laughs> yes, bless Denmark. Bless Denmark. <laughs> <laughs> you Danes are always hurrying somewhere. Okay, so they've made him Italian in this. Alright. Horatio now believes that Polonius urgently needs to speak with Laertes. Ophelia learns more about Horatio. Their character's bio will be updated in the journal. Okay, yeah, I see how this goes. Uh, Marcellus. Hello. Marcellus. Oh! Marcellus, are you alright? Is he having a stroke? <laughs> oh. Badass, though. Sorry, Lady Ophelia. He's got white hair. I thought he was supposed to be young. You gave me a bit of a spook. Been on edge since last night. Just a, a difficult night's watch. I don't know what this accent is. You look like you've seen a ghost, Marcellus. I'm so sorry to have troubled you. Been up, to, been up a little late. Been up a little too late playing cards again, have we? No, not at all. Irma cleaned me out after the last game, and I haven't gone back to her for a game since. Besides, some of the other boys thought uh, that maybe, you know, the, more, uh, the most senior guard ought not to gamble as much. Well, I won't tell if you won't. Try and get some sleep tonight. I'll try, I will. <laughs> as for your brother, I reckon he'll be meeting with, them, with my lord to... Uh, I reckon he'll be... I reckon he's meeting with my lord, the king, to get formal permission for his trip to Paris. Seems a strange thing to do uh, on the eve of his departure. Yeah. Well, you know how court formalities are, milady. I don't make the rules. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. Yes. You'll probably find him in the Great Hall! I see. Very dramatic, myself. <laughs> I see, okay. <laughs> Just trying to be helpful. <laughs> okay. This is a little bit weird characters, but I like it. Oh, big fountain. Oh, it's a mermaid! Well, that's pretty. <laughs> now with all these heavy skirts, better steer clear. <laughs> I know that's foreshadowing, but still. <laughs> oh god, okay. Uh. Whoa! Look at that, I can run fast. Okay, um. Oh, oh, these are the ladies I saw on the map, isn't it? Uh, okay. Lady Brit and Irma. Lady Brit. I just kind of just don't really want to talk to you. I want to go find Hamlet. <laughs> Fine. I have nothing to talk about. Lady Brigitte. My father desires to speak with Laertes. Laertes. If Laertes leaves, this already desolate place will become a lot more dismal. Girl, are you fucking my brother? <laughs> I think that's a bit of a weird way to start off this conversation, but okay. Somehow I feel this is thoroughly your fault. Oh, okay, and she doesn't like me either. How? You could have you could have convinced him to stay, couldn't you? I don't control my brother or his itinerary for that matter. Ah. Humph. Now what will I do? Being a lady in waiting is so dismal. Attending to the queen's every little whim, following her from court function to court function. Okay, well I agree with that because Gertrude in my opinion. I don't know how they're gonna play her in the game. And Gertrude's kind of a bitch, but it's okay. Uh, it's tedious, Lady Ophelia. If only I were a sad little half-ranked girl with no prospects like you. Damn, bitch! <laughs> okay, rude. Then I'd be excused from this banality. <sighs> Just tell me where he is, Brynn. Yeah, okay. Can you shut the fuck up? Hmm. Rude. You see the door to the Great Hall there. Fetch him yourself. I'm not your scullery mate. Okay. Perhaps if he's late enough, he won't have to go to Paris after all. No. Unlikely. A French coastal gale is calling his name. Oh, what a divine punishment it is for him to sail off to France, leaving me with the boring sibling. With the boring <laughs> This girl is mean. Uh, Sorry to disappoint. Mm. Alas, can't be helped. You've got disappointment written all over you. 
Hey, I'm not an orphan yet. Poor little or I'm not an orphan yet. I'll tell you that right now. You may be the queen's lady in waiting, but I am the lady of the court. Keep your tongue in check. Yes. Get her. Get her. Get her ass. My, my oh, I know lady. precisely who you are. Oh, I hate her. Okay. Ooh. Bernardo. Laertes. Hamlet. Better give me the report again, Bernardo. Not get out of the way. Claudius. Gertrude. The Prince of Norway demands we surrender north. Okay, how do I? Oh, okay. Get, get, get over there. Get, get over there. All right. Uh, talk. Psst, have you spoken to Father today? He's in a fit. What? Ah, right. I've completely forgotten. My mind's on Paris already. Hamlet and I are both waiting for an audience with the king, but it's dragging on. Won't you speak to the Queen Ophelia? She's fond of you. She can move this meeting along. Her, okay. Great. <gasps> What's that? Hello. This is a boring thing to say. Oh, I can't ask you. Fine. Hello. Listen to event. Barton bra. The balls of a stallion, that young prince. <laughs> not out of character, but I did not expect him to say that. Fortinbras claims the late King Hamlet rests his soul, won those swamp lands unjustly from his father. My brother won them from Denmark, certainly, but with all the fairness afforded, but with all the fairness afforded to war, he can shed all the tears he likes for that swamp land. I won't bother to hear his complaints. Yes, yes, my lord. We'll send our reply. Okie dokie. Hello, Madame. Let's talk to you. My queen. Oh no! Have we won over long? I'm sure Polonius is in an absolute fit. Yeah. Give me a moment, I'll whisper in my husband's ear. Okay. My lord. Uh. My wife is right. I've had enough of this political affairs for now. Today is a day for celebration, after all. Young Prince Fortinbras grows beyond his leash. We ought not to engage with him, but with his uncle, the true king of Norway. Bernardo, have Voltamon deliver a message to the king of uh, to the king with our terms. What a nice bow. I want my lord. At once, my lord. Uh, now then. Laertes, Hamlet, please come forward. Oh. Okay. Uh, formal permission to leave Denmark. My king. My king, I wish to travel to Paris tomorrow morning, but uh, that I might learn about the breadth of life's offerings beyond Danish walls. Okay. Ooh, I kind of like him. Okay, the eyebrows are a little much. And I wish to return to Wittenberg because I agree, these Danish walls are absolutely miserable. <laughs> little blunt. I have concerns about both of you. You are yet young men. Laertes, what does your father say? He is worried, my king, but grants his blessings. Then I must concede. Hamlet, on the other hand. Absolutely not. Oh, that was, okay. I kind of like his voice. Your mother and the queen would, uh, and I would prefer you stay near us. Hamlet, you may not go back to Germany. What? What? The funeral for my brother is in two months past and yet you still wear black. Uh. I wear mourning attire, but I still mourn my father. The time for that has passed. You ought to think of me as your father now. Your father, the king. Nothing has changed. Yes. For your own health, I desire that you stay in Denmark. I hate him. Um, if that's your wish, uncle. It's pointless. As is customary, I have no choice. I never do. I mean, he's a little bit more blunt. The guy... The Hamlet in the play is very... Like, crafty about his insults, I feel like, for the most part. Also, this face. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. All is settled. And with that, I let us break a little while. Court is dismissed. Thank you, my lord. Thank you. Uh, okay. Of course. You are most welcome, Laertes. Swift travels, my boy. Ophelia. Ophelia. <laughs> Ophelia. Whenever you are done here, come meet me outside. I have something to tell you before I want to meet before I meet with father. Hamlet is staying. 
Hamlet now wants to avoid King Claudius and Gertrude. Fair enough. Uh, there's something on my mouse. Hamlet. Hamlet. The boy is determined to hate me. Well, there's a reason for that. He cannot yet understand what lies beyond the veil of the youth, dearest. My son. Hamlet is... There is such a darkness within him. I believe it's called depression, but you know, I could be wrong on that. I fear it may fester if we allow him to leave us. And what form that festering might take, I fear more. It's called depression, but okay. Um, you've I done do. right by him, I promise. Okay. Irma and Lady Britt, I don't like either of them, but okay. Um, Marcella's been, okay. Hey, babe. What's going on, babe? Yeah, this is a good way to do that. So, you're stuck here. Yes. <laughs> While your brother is gallivanting around Paris, I shall be thinking of him fondly from my seat on the chamber pot. <laughs> okay. Elsinore Castle becomes more oppressive each day. Aww. It must be so terribly oppressive being prince. If I didn't know you well enough to tell otherwise, I'd think you were being kind. There are still good things about Denmark, Hamlet. My father was one, you were the other. Now both are gone. Oh. Have they already broken up? They're not broken up yet. Captain? What? What have you told the king? Uh. <laughs> Nothing yet, naturally. Ophelia was asking me questions earlier. Hmm. Well, were you shivering or knock kneed? No, no, of course not. That girl just has a keen sense. Oh, oh, I know it. Okay. Uh, all we can do is wait on Hamlet's word. Until then, we can merely wait and watch and hope it doesn't return. Ag. Okie dokie. Oh. Please. If only I could dissolve. If only that... If it were only that easy to die. God, would you spite me even then? You would, wouldn't you? This is hell. Oh, baby. I love you. <laughs> Sorry. You've brought, me, you've brought me nothing but misery in this flat, weary, weary world. And this castle is like an overgrown garden. How I despise it. I think they, you know, I think they just went to like No Fear Shakespeare and we like, just translate the whole scene and just stuff it in there. <laughs> the, whole, the whole monologue, just put it in there. Um, Hamlet? Hamlet, be at peace. Look at it this way. We'll drink to your health tonight. What's going on with that fire? It's like a whole party in there. Interesting. I and the rest of the guards will drink ourselves silly. How does that sound? Mother. Father gave her anything, everything. I've never seen a love like it. I never loved like it. And all too soon, my father's dead and she's marrying my uncle less than a month later. Disgusting. She had hardly gone from shedding tears to sharing his bed. Uh... She had to move on, Hamlet. She is the queen. She cannot afford her grief. And your uncle is a suitable match. Huh. Horatio. My boy. My boy. Don't be on his side. Oh, shut up, Horatio. Yeah, Horatio. Frailty and woman are one in the same. <laughs> I'm telling you, they just went straight to Norfear Shakespeare, translated the whole monologue, and just stuck it in there. Frailty, thy name is woman. No, 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 no. Frailty and woman are one in the same. See, we, we haven't just done, we haven't just copy pasted the whole monologue. <laughs> Come on, Hamlet, get off the floor now. Let's get you to bed, shall we? Look at him, he's so sad on the floor. Okay, I think that's everything I can do in here. Oh. My thanks. Okay, that meeting, we'd be in there an hour. You freed me, eternally grateful. I sense you needed rescuing, even though I know that you've been waiting for a return to ordinary affairs. Yeah, <laughs> it's refreshing, no? After the dark cloud that's descended on Elsinore lately. It's a depression. The last few months certainly have been odd. Agreed. What was it you wanted to discuss, then? You know, Ophelia, I'm going to miss you. And I you, brother. You and Prince Hamlet, you're not... anymore... Hamlet and I aren't together anymore, Leo. Geez, I swear it on Mother's grave. What? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Also, what was that little, like, 
shuffle dance of it. I, I don't know. That was interesting. <laughs> Has he given you any trouble? Uh, no, he's far more focused on glaring daggers at his uncle Claudius. How long has it been since his father's funeral? A month? Two? And he scarcely seems to have recovered. Stop judging the boy. Stop it. King Hamlet could do no wrong in his son's eyes, I'm certain. No doubt Hamlet's grief has been overwhelming as of late. And Hamlet hates his uncle for marrying his mother. I see the way he looks at him. His eyes. What are these poses? I don't know. Like a kicked dog, angry, fumi fuming, <laughs> and unpredictable. It is both proper and customary that Gertrude marry her husband's brother after her husband's death. Um, I have I have no idea why Hamlet seems a fit about it. It has me worried he might take his anger upon you. Laerties. <laughs> Laerties. <laughs> Laertes, you need to sh throw shoes anymore. Throw shoes? What the fuck does that mean? You remember when we were small that one summer when the Baroness and her children came to visit Elsinore? You mean those horrible little boys who pushed you down? Yes. Oh. Okay, yes. And one of them, and when one of them pulled my hair and said it looked odd, ah, oh, right, I'd forgotten. I threw my boot at. Okay, it's not. Look, in this scene, it becomes a sexual thing. I thought that's what we were talking about here. And you've been doing it ever since. Of course. No one pushes my sister around. Well, unless it's me, of course. Fair enough. They won't. That's what I'm telling you. I can fend for myself now, I promise. I'm not that little girl anymore, and I'm not going to let anyone do harm to me. I suppose that's true, isn't it? You really haven't changed. Well, the man is back. I see something of my mother in you now. She could be fierce like that. I likely won't see you before I leave tomorrow, but... Laertes! Laertes. Father. Ah. Father. My son! My son! I believe you still have some things to attend to. Your ship leaves tomorrow morning, after all. You have little time to dally. You're correct. As usual, I pack nothing at all until the eve of my departure. <laughs> Better throw a few of my best doubles in a trunk and call it a night. Farewell. Please get some sleep, you'll need it. I hate him. I heard what your brother- I heard what your brother told you about Prince Hamlet. Be careful. He's right. Prince Hamlet's poison to a young woman like you. Is it the depression? I think I- I think I'm good, but okay. And besides that, he's going to inherit the crown someday. It's a delicate situation, that one. I know you loved him once. I'm your father. I see these things. Do you? I know I ought not to be around him any longer. Uh, for another young noblewoman, things might be different, but not so for you. These matters become more difficult for you and Laertes. I'm well aware, father. We both are. But I am no scullery maid, and I will not be forced to shrink from him. Oh no. I wouldn't dream of asking you that. I merely desire your safety. Yes, father. Of course, I understand, father. Sleep now. Smart girl, sweet dreams. Is this my bedroom? It's very olive. Mm. It's late, I really ought to sleep. Oh. Noom. <laughs> oh, oh, it's cute. I like it. I like it. Okay. Cute little room here. Uh... This is where I seat visitors for a chat. That is, if father ever allowed me to have any. Okay. A uh, cute little plant at the window. Is this? Yeah, that's the edge of the room. Uh, my desk. On occasion, I like to write here. It's been a while since I've had the time, though. Oh, Peculiar Tales, Volume 4. Ah, I borrowed this from the gallery some time ago. Ooh, this is fun. I remember Celeste rode in the front. She was the head of the May Parade, wearing a long white dress with a blue ribbon around her waist and flowers braided into her hair. No one had ever seen a May Day, uh, May Queen half is so pretty, they said. A trail of wagons tied together proceeded down the only street in town, and there she sat at the very front, skirts trailing beneath her legs, which dangled off the wagon's edge. Her feet were bare and pale and clean, her eyes a blue ma to match her sash, and even I had to admit she was beautiful. I watched her go by from just outside Mum's cottage. She turned to smile at me and called out, Anna, come dance with us. So apparently I'm Anna in this. 
She extended her hands towards me, and the bells tied to her wrists tinkling faintly. We had been best friends once, after all. But the boys who walked at her side jeered at me. Ugly little bitch. One of them screeched. Another tossed his own. Brown-toothed, slack-jawed, scruff-haired nothing. <laughs> Next time you need a good insult, you're going to use that. You're going to be like, this, this kid's going to come over to you school bullying you, right? And you're just going to turn around and be like, you brown-toothed, slack-jawed, scruff-haired nothing. That'll really, that'll really fix him up. One of them came after me with a stick, uh, as though he meant to break it over my back. Jesus. Tears filling my eyes, I retreated to the, into the woods. Far away from the raucous sounds of the May Day Parade, everything here was dark and silent. Uh, the trees stretched their fingers overhead, and for a moment I forgot myself in that darkness. I knew not where I went, but I walked but walked with my eyes locked upon the mossy ground. There was no path, I needed none. All humans know when they have truly become... All humans know when they have truly become lost, and so had I. I, it was nearly midnight now, though it had been noon when I left my mother's threshold. A full moon lit my path, casting twining shadows on the forest floor. This is pretty. At last I came upon a still lake, uh, and there I prayed to the spirit of the spring herself and the great goddess whose image all May Day queens were created in. Make me beautiful like Celeste, I cried, and make me worthy of being the May Queen too. The waters parted. A single wave lapped to the surface, and then, slowly, the mare appeared. A mare, the mare, like a horse? The mare climbed out of the water's depths, one hoof at a time. Yeah, so a horse. It was a white mare, drenched through, and it shook its head wildly, flicking drops of water from its mane. Surely this must be the goddess herself, manifested in mortal form. Its mane was just, was braided, not just as Celeste had been, but with moss weed and not flowers. Okay. Uh, the mare stood before me, its golden eyes fixed upon me. At last it said, with no mouth that could move, but with a voice all the same, Child of men, have you come to seek my aid? I have, I said quietly. I want to be beautiful, as beautiful as Celeste. It bowed its great head to me and nuzzled my hand. I touched it tenderly, its breath on my fingers, and, flooded with sudden relief that my prayer had been answered, I pressed my face into its mane and sobbed. Cry not, child of man, it told me. Come into my dark waters and be reborn as a goddess in your own right. Merely climb on my back and we'll descend together. You shall be a May Queen yet. I wrapped its mane around my fingers and pulled myself onto her back with all my might, swinging one, re one leg over its sinewy side. Together we descended. We began to descend into the waters. I felt the cold bite of its weighing down my shirts, my skirts, my shoes, and before I knew it, the water was up to my chest. It was then I peered beneath the surface and my heart leapt into my chest. The mare was no mare, but a rotting, hulking thing, its flesh stripped into pieces from its corpse and fluttering in the water's current. The wet stink of death came upon me and I gagged. The th uh, I reached out for the only thing I could grab, a branch overhanging the pond, and pulled with all my might. The creature ceased its descent beneath the water and turned upon me, its face a little more than two shriveled eyes and a gr grinning skull. A name came to my, my lips, a choked screen. Brook horse. Yes! The thing, the thing in the water hissed. Its horse-like lips pulled back, revealing sharpened teeth. Well, that's terrifying. Also, what is Brook Horse? I turned to swim, but felt those teeth closing down upon my back. The moon grew small, high above the surface, fading from reach. The soft green of it all surrounded me. I sank down into the moss at the bottom. No, not moss. Remains. And the last thing I saw was its sharp, grinning smile. You shall never be queen, it rasped, but your bones shall be beautiful indeed. Okay, that is terrifying. Uh, terribly familiar somehow. Okay. Oh, I can just drag her around? Well, that's way easier. Um, my dresser, where some of my simpler garments are kept. I'm partial to this gown, though. I better rest a while. So little happened today, and yet my eyelids are already heavy. Maybe it's all the advice I received. Oh. Okay. Oh! Oh, I think it's, this is like a dream or something. <gasps> it's the ghost. Oh, this art is so pretty. Here we it. What? Marcellus doesn't die, though. Okay. Oh, he did. Hehe, <laughs> Claudius. Uh, I think that's Laertes then? Okay. And she's down there drowning. 
fun. Nice. That's really pretty. I love the art in this. It's so pretty. Hello. Oh, what a strange dream. Ophelia. Almost feels like a Here like a it. prophetic dream. Oh. The f oh. the fuck. Uh, oh, is it this scene? Ophelia. Is someone there? Oh, oh god. Here okay. Is everything all right? Oh. oh. Uh, 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 oh god, worms. my mother! Worms and wriggling earth. Worms, worms and wriggling Wriggle earth. earth. All I can see is bile Hamlet. and rot everywhere. Hamlet. Hamlet, stop for a moment. What in the world are you talking about? And why are you in my bedchamber? I... Yeah. I... I'm sorry. 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 Oh, and he's gone. Wait! He looks so peculiar! Something is wrong! My head feels strange. That dream seems so real. What's wrong with Hamlet? Tragic nightmares. Learns about... Oh, Prince Hamlet Madness. Great. So he's already started that. Okay. Um. Whoa, that goes fast. Alright. Well, I'm going to pause uh, this episode right here. And we're going to continue the, this adventure in a little bit uh, for the next part. So, thank you guys for joining me today. Um, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, I will be back in the next part. It'll probably be in a playlist down there pretty soon after I get this edited and the next one edited. Uh, I'm a huge Hamlet enthusiast and Shakespeare enthusiast. Like, I am a really big nerd. Um, so, um, this is super cool to me. Not entirely accurate, I don't think, but you know, that that's fine. I don't really care. Um, but yeah, yeah, this is gonna be a cool game. I really like it so far. Anyway, please join me on the next episode. Uh, like and subscribe, make sure to do that, uh, because I will hopefully be getting a lot of content done in the next few days, because again, I am stuck in my room for Thanksgiving. <laughs> so yeah, um, bye, see you later. <laughs>